meters cubed per hour. And so this thing here is a volume, okay? And that makes it mass per, per ton, okay? So again, I know it's a little bit of stretching you guys a little bit, but so A flowing in minus flow, A flowing out, it's got to equal the amount of A generated, or in this case, consumed, okay? Because we're at, we're at steady state. All right, so we want to turn this into a differential equation, so what are we going to do? We're going to divide through by, by um, delta Z. Let's see what else I did. I guess I did two things here in one step. I divided through the equation by A, right? So that took the A out here and put it over there. And then I divided through by delta Q, sorry, delta Z. That put both these terms over delta Z, canceled that. I got this. I take the limit of that as, as delta Z goes to zero, okay? And if you look at this, so you've got Q times A, whatever. Um, and then you look at this term here. Well, again, that's this is the definition of the derivative of CA, actually minus the derivative, right? So, right, if you have like x, if you had x at, at z plus delta z minus x at z, divide by delta z, take the limit goes to zero, that'd be the derivative of x with respect to z. So this is just z is CA here. And the two terms are reversed, so it's minus, okay? So you've got the minus q over a, you got that derivative there, minus, so there's your differential equation right there. So the idea here is that we obtain this differential equation by doing a balance over this little element delta z, then take the, the, the delta z goes as delta z goes to zero. And then I didn't do much here. I multiplied by, <laughs> through by this equation by minus one to get this equation. And then I gave it some initial value. So now the initial value doesn't mean what the concentration is of A at time equals zero. It means what is the concentration of A entering the reactor, okay? And now to solve this problem, means that I'm going to tell you how the... Con